I'm, I'm representing uh, <coughs> uh, the Foundation for Sustainable Development uh, from Wrocław. Uh, and Arnika Association is our uh, old uh, uh, partner. We, we, we've done uh, a number of projects together and, and we in Wrocław uh, are not very far from Prague. And uh, 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 we try to meet each other at various occasions. Um, one of the things that we did with our Ch Czech friends was uh, we, we planted uh, a, a tree to commemorate Václav Havel in one of the Wrocław parks. No i to była lipa, oczywiście. That was uh, a linden tree, of course. Ah. Um, some, some of the uh, part of this presentation may be you, some, uh, those of you who, who went to Uchelskie Hradyste and uh, were here in, in this building in 2010 might have seen part of this presentation. So I will go uh, more quickly through general information and then uh, uh, focus on selected details. Uh, as we all know, uh, tree-lined roads is, is a part of our landscape heritage. And it, it's the same thing in, in Poland. And I come from part of Poland that, that was uh, uh, for many centuries uh, in, one, in, in one country with, with the Czech Republic, with the Czech uh, territory. Uh, so uh, uh, the... Uh, the state that, that did particularly uh, outstanding job for creation of avenue landscape was the Kingdom of Prussia. And here is one edict, one regulation by the King of Prussia, Friedrich Wilhelm, from the year 1731, where he uh, uh, announces that the people who destroy trees will be punished. Uh, so, uh, that uh, heritage of, of the Prussian kingdom also uh, left a mark in, in Polish landscape. Uh, as you may know, Poland in the 19th century was uh, uh, divided among its neighbors. And uh, that was uh, uh, the part that belonged to the kingdom of Prussia first and then to, the, to, the, uh, to Germany. And we certainly got uh, most, uh, most avenues in these regions. The other parts, which were under Austria and Russia, uh, have much, much more modest re avenue resources. So uh, trees in Poland are legally protected. Uh, tree removal permits uh, uh, are issued by by uh, the commons, uh, obets, and, uh, and on the uh, county level. And uh, for roadside trees only, uh, a survey of protected species is, is obligatory, then, uh, which is then uh, supervised by the regional environmental authority. For new road construction, no permits are necessary, but the nature uh, conservation requirements have to be met anyway. The problem, as in, as in many other countries, is removal, excessive removal of trees. And I will not dwell on it too much. I, I will tell you about what we, what we try to do with this issue. Uh, uh, we began working for conserva conservation of, of, of trees in open landscape uh, in 2007 in Badesh Valley, which is north of Wrocław, on the northern uh, uh, border of, of Silesia. Uh, this is a land of uh, ponds, in, uh, and many of those uh, dikes are, are, uh, around the ponds are planted with oak trees. So uh, we initiated a, a grassroots campaign to, to plant trees, uh, including some avenues, restoration of, of avenues, and hundreds of, of trees are planted every year. Uh, we did survey 
inventory of uh, of avenues and this experience led us to and we also began working with road services this experience led us to establishment of the prog program roads for nature in 2009 where the main assumption is that the road services created the avenues and they will save them uh, it's not up to non-governmental organizations to do the job so we began uh, creating uh, lo uh, 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 partnerships with road authorities and local authorities, since uh, local authorities, they, they issue uh, tree removal permits. Uh, the, I, I, this is the, the act of signing a memorandum of understanding with the director of regional road authority in Wrocław. Uh, <coughs> again, uh, when I, when I listened to, to the presentations here, I, I found many similarities. Again, Hermit Beetle, uh, the best friend of trees. Uh, we got a, a grant uh, from the in, Infrastructure and Environment Operational Program. And that, that program, namely, uh, is, is to be blamed for removal of many trees, but again, what we did was inventory of Hermit Beetle uh, um, uh, along, along roads in three regions, and we also planted 30,000 trees using the money coming from this, uh, this program. And that was an interesting experiment. Uh, by that time, in 2009, when the project started, uh, there was a general opinion that there is no space for trees along roads. But we did it. And we found 55 road authorities of various levels, from, from the lowest uh, level, from the, the commune, to the uh, national road authorities, uh, th that agreed f for us to plant trees. And we had also similar experience to one of, of, of the speakers, uh, that it's not that easy to find a uh, place to, to plant trees. But it's nevertheless possible. We did it. So th this is uh, Balaj Valley and the, the avenues that, that were, were restored thanks to that project. We also did uh, needs assessment. And this is something that which you may also find familiar. Uh, the four main points was that there is poor, poor understanding of the role of trees of why trees are necessary for us. Uh, then, the people who are responsible for trees, uh, they uh, uh, know nothing about them in most of cases. They don't have sufficient skills to manage trees uh, adequately. And then, there is a deficit of planning. There's no, no planning in tree resources de development and in a, insufficient resources. Uh, so, to, in order to address these issues, we, uh, we wrote a project, submitted it to, to the LIFE program of European uh, Commission and, and got funding. It's also supported by the National Environmental Fund in Poland and, and uh, some smaller uh, regional uh, funds. We invited several organizations uh, to work on it. Uh, Fundacja Ekodozwoju, uh, this is our organization, and partners in North Poland, and a partner in North Germany. Uh, main, main activity is, is working locally in ch chosen uh, communes uh, and uh, we try to to cover at least two communes in every region of Poland. Evidently uh, we got most of them around Wrocław but other regions are covered by our partners and uh, uh, the foundation directly. Main, one of the main points in, in each commune is creation of, of Avenue Master Plan, which is in, in itself an educational activity. 
because most of public officials, they don't know their trees. They don't realize how, much, how many trees they have, what is their state, what is their situation, where they could plant something, where they could uh, direct com compensation planting, uh, uh, which is required when, when trees are removed. Uh, this is uh, uh, accompanied by educational activities, trainings, and so on. We also do demonstration implementations which is uh, tree planting, uh, small-scale tree planting. Uh, uh, t uh, tree assessment using specialist equipment, like here is, this is pulling test. And uh, tree care, mature tree care. We show that uh, in case of uh, problems with tree stability, uh, tree removal is not always uh, necessary. Sometimes some simple simple measures like putting uh, uh, what you call it wiązanie w kolonie was by tak to wiązanie w kolonie tak proszę uh, i forgot the word for it uh, you know tying the branches what do you call it just yeah. mm -hmm. Uh, uh, sometimes it's, it, 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 it's enough to, to assure that uh, the, tr the tree is safe. Because, because we understand that if we want to, to save trees that grow close to people, these trees have to be safe to people and their, their, their uh, uh, buildings, uh, property. Hence, in each of those communes we conduct a two-day training seminar where we cover the major eight topics. Uh, we explain how tree grows, uh, the knowledge about, very basic knowledge is, is very poor, even among those who managed uh, trees. And road services are, are special, they have no, no tree knowledge whatsoever. Uh, then uh, we talk about natural values of trees, how to how to f uh, check whether the, the, there are protected species living in trees. Then about, we talk about planning uh, avenues and planting uh, trees. Uh, we teach them basic tree assessment, uh, and I will tell you a bit more later. Uh, then there is mature tree care. Then uh, we talk about protect, protecting trees on construction sites, and there is a legal s section, legal uh, presentation on, on how to issue tree removal permits in such a way that trees are protected more efficiently. And at the end, we talk about communicating uh, on, about trees. That means uh, how to deal with local community. People uh, sometimes may be scared by trees. They m may want to remove trees because of some uh, threats from trees, like, have you heard that trees shed leaves and people have to rake these, uh, these, these leaves? This is very, very, uh, it's, it's a hardship for many people. So many people want their uh, trees removed for such stupid reasons and we want to uh, uh, counter it. Now, oh, our books. Uh, we uh, try to put together uh, the newest knowledge about trees and publish them. So there is this Poladnik Przyjaciół Drzew. This is for local activists and for professionals. Drzewa w krajobrazie. Strony w krainie. Tak, właśnie. Uh, and uh, uh, we try to, to make these uh, books accessible to, to people who are not specialists. So they are simply written, uh, illustrated. Well, certainly disseminations, seminars, conferences like, like, like uh, the one that we take part in here and uh, I, I would like to stress that the conference uh, in 2010 in this building 
was a great inspiration to, to us. We, we thought, well, if, if our Czech friends managed to put together such an interesting event, we certainly can also do it. And we did it. Uh, we support uh, uh, grassroots activists that uh, try to protect trees. There's no way our co-workers could, could uh, watch every tree in the countryside. So uh, we, uh, we provide the training, support, uh, materials to, to the people who want to protect trees in their, in their places wh where they live. Uh, and uh, in September, uh, we, or we organized the Tree Friends Forum. And you know this lady here? We had also some, some guests from abroad. Uh, and we are part of, of, of a network of, in, uh, of international friends of trees, uh, uh, of, the, of the organizations that work to protect uh, avenues. Uh, the, uh, there was also uh, a meeting in, in Wigan um, two years ago, and we met again uh, in Baric Valley and Wrocław. Now, uh, our partner is... Uh, the, the uh, German organization BUND, uh, the chapter in Mecklenburg-Vorpommern. This is the land where Rügen is also. And here is uh, Katharina Brückmann, who is uh, the, the, the leader of Avenue Conservation Program. Uh, and certainly uh, Mecklenburg-Vorpommern is, is the land uh, where uh, uh, Avenue protection is... Uh, uh, at the highest level in Germany, and I would say in, in Europe. So we could l l learn a lot from them. <clears throat> and now this is something that we, we, we could also do together. Aleje zamiast granic. BUND and the Foundation for Sustainable De Development together with local partner uh, Gaia Association from Szczecin, we planted together a transboundary avenue. 50 uh, uh, lime trees uh, were <coughs> planted across border. They, they intersect the border. On both, they were planted on both sides. It was a, 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 a big uh, event with the, uh, with the uh, chief of the uh, government, uh, regional governmental administration uh, coming and planting this with us. Uh, I believe that uh, this carries double message. One is that uh, trees are important. And the other one is that uh, uh, borders now connect uh, nations. They don't divide us anymore. Aleje zamiast granic. Here is uh, Mostowice, uh, a place in in Odlitzke Chory, where uh, our colleagues planted a transboundary avenue 20 years ago. But me meanwhile, the road was rebuilt, broadened, and uh, the, the trees were gone. But still, still we don't give up. Uh, so, this is one of the possible places between Kiec and Trzebom. Silhezowice? Uh, now, when you look at it, here is uh, Czech section, here is Polish section. Here is Czech side of the road, here is Polish side of the road. I am ashamed. Uh, now, I would like to, to share with you uh, one, of the, one of the things that we are most proud of. A um, couple of years ago, uh, a tree management employee asked me for help uh, in, their, in their problem. Uh, uh, they have... Uh, an avenue of old, mostly lipy uh, in Barge Valley. And this is a Natura 2000 site. 
And now uh, the, the problem was uh, that they needed to remove some trees that were not safe. Uh, but local authority told them to go to environmental authorities for uh, for uh, uh, for the for uh, uh, permit because of Natura 2000, and at that and at that time they had proposed to remove 35 trees. So uh, I was asked for help, and since since the, we already cooperated, I went there and we went er along the the avenue, and what I found that of those 35 trees. Only five trees were not safe. And then I found three more trees that had, had to be removed quickly because they could f fall on the road uh, at, at, at next occasion uh, of, of a stronger wind. So uh, I understood that one of the reasons why many trees are removed is that the people who recommend re tree removal, they don't know how to tell a safe tree from an unsafe tree. So, for example, they say, there's a hole in the tree. <clears throat> well, come on. Most of trees that are more than 100 year old have some kind of hole, right? So, anyway, uh, what we did, we, we put together uh, ex various experience in basic tree assessment. For example, from the International Society uh, of Ar uh, for Arboriculture, we also used uh, uh, German, German experience. We went to, uh, to took courses at the Institut für Baumpflege in Hamburg. Uh, we actually found the German system methodology the most practical. Uh, and we designed such, such form, uh, which, which is a checklist. It helps a person who does not have big knowledge or experience to look at the proper important things, at, to look at the features of the tree that are relevant to its stability. Uh, such, such approach is used widely in Western Europe. And for example, each and every tree in Hamburg is uh, controlled at least uh, once in two years, and w one of those three inspectors, surveyors, uh, spends uh, on average 10 minutes with each tree, including uh, walking from one to another. Uh, this is a way to remove most of the cases when tree can be a hazard, can be a danger, can be a threat. Of course, uh, uh, Accidents do happen. There are some extreme, extreme winds, and some trees can fall even without warning. But uh, if there is a, a, a case with the court, or, or if there is a, a need to, uh, for the insurance company to pay compensation, the tree owner can prove that uh, all the uh, that uh, the, the right uh, that the management did the right thing to, to, to assure public uh, safety. So, let me tell you briefly how, how it works. Uh, there are several sections uh, in this form, and the section one, we describe the tree, uh, location, uh, owner, species. Uh, what is important, this uh, tree value uh, if this is a nature monument, if the tree is unique, or uh, it's a valuable habitat, for example, for hermit beetle, uh, if it's uh, a part of, of avenue of, of, or, or a park, then we want to uh, pay more attention to the tree. Then th uh, we assess the in immediate in environment, uh, looking for two things. First, what could be the damage if the tree fell? That is, how is the uh, area used? Whether it's a park, a parking lot, or a building, or a, a distant spot in a park, where, where rarely some people go. And then the second thing, we look for, for changes. Have any changes occurred in the, uh, in the area which, 
which could be damaging to trees. Like uh, this picture you see, the designer wanted to to save the trees, but uh, but the construction uh, workers actually uh, destroyed them with, uh, through driving with uh, heavy machinery uh, over the roots. Uh, then we go on to uh, uh, to three features, and we go through the root system, through the stem, to the crown, and look for such features as uh, fungi, uh, dead branches, and looking from 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 the bottom, uh, we look for de decay with with a probe. Uh, and we we we, uh, we also advise to to examine the trunk with a hammer, wooden hammer or rubber hammer. So uh, features like uh, fungi, cracks, uh, everything that or like here you see split uh, split uh, uh, double stem. Things that, that that indicate that there there could be a problem. Uh, so uh, the the features of the tree that may cause problems could be natural. These could be fungi. The, these could be uh, unsafe forks. Uh, the, the, these could be uh, dead branches. But they can be also man-made, uh, which which is uh, uh, effects of uh, topping, uh, uh, strangled branches, uh, uh, improper pruning, uh, or uh, uh, limited space for tree to grow. Many trees have not been planted in proper spots. So, uh, at section four, uh, we summarize, and uh, there there are three three variants of the dec final decision to be made. E either uh, the assessor concludes that there are no signs of, of increased risk, or there are some signs of increased risk, and if there are such signs that recommendations are needed and in addition there could be additional investigation uh, um, recommended so for example it could be uh, a pulling test it could be uh, an investigation with the, with a tomograph sonic tomograph or uh, some other method that could uh, help us to look into the tree and determine whether what we've seen on, on the surface is really a problem. Uh, what could be uh, possible solutions? So, for example, uh, put it, uh, safeguarding branches with the rope. And you already translated it? Vazva. 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 Or reduction of the crown, uh, or simply removing uh, dead branches, uh, uh, or testing dead, dead branches. Uh, in trees like oaks, dead branches don't have to be removed necessarily because they they can stay on the, on the tree for for decades, but ha they have to be tested. Cabling system. Oh. That's, that's that's what it could be uh, could be called the vasba, and then a uh, recommendation for next assessment, which could be uh, normally in around two years, or maybe uh, if if the tree is not safe, it could be sooner. If there is some something happening uh, that makes us wonder. So, uh, so we we teach this methodology. Yeah, I I'm done. We teach this methodology at the uh, at, at the training sessions that we uh, that we provide, and uh, uh, I hope that it improves the way trees are managed, and will help the road services in saving avenues. Thank you.